She hella fine. She full of drama though. She like a bomb. I'm like drama though. She got a bag, but she want more than that. She got an ass, but she ain't about to throw it back. She keep it real, cause she ain't never fake a shit. She love to feel, she always on some cake and shit. But she fine as hell. She full of drama though. She like a bomb. I'm like drama though. I said the girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house tea, and she goes spill it. That girl can call the kettle black. She be the pot spilling the tea, giving up all the facts. Even though she got her own shit, she dealing with. You would never know the real deal of who she messing with. She a hood chick, and yeah, she bougie. She nasty, but still a lady. And don't be stepping on her toes unless you want your whole story told. Cause I said the girl's a house of tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house of tea, and she goes spill it. The girl's a house of tea, and she goes spill it. Okay, ladies, so next question. Never have I ever had sex in a public place. Listen, y'all don't go to Miami all pay weekend and don't show them a little appreciation on the plane. I'm about this game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And what y'all need to do is figure out what the hell to say to Nicole to put a dent in that damn glass. Because, girl, what are we doing? Jazz, leave her alone. I mean, shit, somebody got to make sure we all get home safely. But I think I got it. Never have I ever fooled around with one of my exes. Okay, so shit. It was only the head, just once, cause I don't do exes for real. Okay ladies, so look, I'm like this close to closing the deal on one of these houses with my client, and if I do, it's gonna be a bag good enough to open up my own real estate agency. Okay, and leave that Bernie Sanders looking bossy ears alone. I say go for it, Mercedes, and do your own thing. You're a natural. Listen, ever since I stopped working for that daycare and started writing my books, I ain't thought about them damn kids, so I definitely agree it's time for you to branch out. Thank you, Denise. Now, Jazz, what you making that face for? Look, as your friend and your personal manager of your big money finances, what type of bag we talking about? Like, Oprah, you got a bag, you got a bag? Or Beyonce, I got a bag? Did this girl just call herself my money manager? Jazz, let's just say this year I'll be in a better position financially. And speaking of that, Nicole, I'm gonna need some photos updated for my property listings. I gotta get on that. That's fine. Um, I got a photo shoot to do for the city mall with Chris, but after that, I should be free. Okay. Chris, is this the cute photographer that Mercedes was telling me about? If so, please tell me you jumped on that already and I need details. Oh my God, no, Denise. We only been talking for like five months and we're taking it slow. I'm not ready to jump on nobody yet. Aw, oh, damn, she about to blow another one, y'all. Okay, Jazz, ease up now. All I'm saying is, we all know Nicole by now. She gonna take it slow until some big booty BBL girl come and snatch up her dude. Really, Jazz? Coming from the queen of the next nigga coming to my bed. Lined up and ready to kick their ass out right after. 
get that bread, get that head, then leave. It's that simple. Nicole, ignore jazz. If you like this guy this time around, drop your door and see what's going on. I'm trying y'all. Y'all know how private I am. I just want to make sure that him and I are actually compatible before I go to do anything. Plus, he's coming over tonight. Good for you, sis. Now, if I can just get my man to put a ring on this empty finger, I'll be good and I won't have to shoot him. Okay, now keep giving that man hell. He gonna leave you in all your bullshit. Girl, that nigga ain't leaving me. And he more worried about this vice grip than anything else. Speaking of vice grips, I'm about to get up out of here, wash mine, and head straight to bed. I gotta get up early in the morning. And I got a brand meeting with a new artist, and baby, if he's as fine as his voice sound, I'm gonna be slaying another one this weekend. I'm gonna get up out of here too. My agent is looking for a new chapter in my book, so yeah. All right, y'all. See you, boom. Love it. All right, baby. Make sure you call me. I will. Okay. See y'all. Well, Nicole, it's just me and your girl. No complaints here. Okay. So you know Jazz just be talking shit, right? She just wanna see you happy and in love, even though she ain't loving nothing but her damn self in that rose. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm just still getting over things with my last little situation. I know I can't be shy forever, but my last relationship was toxic, so I know a bad person when I see one. Plus, I know things are all love with her. Anyway, how are things with you and Deshaun? Mm. I'm dead, like six feet deep, covered in worms, dead. Listen, I am a businesswoman. I don't got time for somebody that's going to slow me down. They got to be able to keep up with me. And men, they just seem to be intimidated by a strong woman. And I really don't got time for that. So I blocked them. Yeah. What's up, ladies? Hey, babe. Hey, love. Shit, girls night over with her. Thought I was going to see some shaking ass, girl on girl type of shit or something. No, we're just trying our best to be adults nowadays. What y'all talk about Jazz to her, Noah? <laughs> be nice, Chris. The first time you met Jazz, you, you made her so mad she was ready to throw hands with you. And I'm actually offended that you think all we do is twerk. Don't tell her I said that, but shit, you right. Twerk and carry up. All right, boo, I'm gone. I'll call you when I get home. Don't forget to be a risk taker. All right, girl, love you. Love you more. Hey, you see my phone? It's right here, Ray. I was just about to bring it to you. Okay. What you about to do? Shit, shower. Probably chill. So. You want me to join you in the shower? Nah, baby, shit. That smell like shit right now, but we gonna watch a movie when I get out. Is that cool? Wait a minute. Why the fuck you blowing my phone up right now? Fuck wrong with you? up a little bit for me. Alright, for sure, but look, it's about to be album of the fucking year. Man, you ain't fucking lying, nigga. That's the fuck they signed me for. Nice. We cooking up the shit that people want, man. Okay, big grip playboy. I'm Jasmine, or Jazz. I'm a manager here at Money Move Records. I want to welcome you to the family. Hey, look. Hold on. You can save all that welcome to party shit, man. You can just call me Trey. We working. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Look, Trey. The label needs four singles from you by the end of the I ain't gonna lie. You bad as fuck. <laughs> like, every nigga you see probably going. But uh, one thing I don't do 
It's business before pleasure. Oh. Let's take a shot with me. This is my homeboy, longtime friend, producer, Draco. Nice to meet you. Hey, bro, on that last one we did, that bitch had hella drums, bro. I want to light them up a little bit, add some subs. You hear that song? Check it out. Trey, listen, every artist under Money Move Records understands that we, we empower the artist to... To be trash. Excuse me? To be trash. You know how, right? <laughs> Look, <laughs> we have Grammy winning artists. So, <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about, but please tell me how. Did you want to change too much about the original art? Y'all take everything about an artist that make them dope, unique, strip it down. Y'all put out these watered down versions as performers. You call it change, I call it artist development. And Brandy. <laughs> she put it like this, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Like you, for example. Brown skin, natural body, natural hair. Mm -hmm. What the world say you need more? More makeup, more body, more hair. Then, after long, the art that God made is gone. Mm -hmm. You assigned me for raw talent. So quit trying to strike me up and let me hit it raw. But I'm never one to worry much, eat them up And then they ask him what's for lunch I'm in that merry gold, iced up, very cold, ice cup Liquid courage foreign, doesn't look like I need that to cope Hell no, but you can cool her off with half a bag of troll Half a dope, half a dope Hey baby, look, you come to bed or what, man? You been on this motherfucking computer doing this chapter all day, what's up? Oh, I really gotta finish this chapter for work My boss been on my head about coming strong this year with my follow-up book, so You, you ever wondered? What I need? You ever consider what the fuck your man needed for the last two weeks? Better yet, what the fuck this relationship needed? And the last time I checked, we ain't doing so motherfucking good, Denise. You being selfish as fuck right now. And since we keep it record, it's been 154 days since my last request. Or did you forget that shit? What? Marriage, Cole. Marriage. Are you serious? I asked you when we could talk about marriage, and you still ain't saying nothing about that shit. Look, you know exactly why we haven't discussed it. And for you to sit here and act like you don't know why, that's pretty weird to me. Here we go again. So while we still holding receipts on the table, you forget we were supposed to have moved past that. You said you was over that. No, you moved on. And the person that you love decides to take everything that y'all had and then shit on it? I mean, it's a little harder to process it. Last time I checked, what happened back then was your fault. You didn't care nothing about what I asked for and what I needed, so I don't know what to tell you. All I've been asking for is a chance to redeem myself and make stuff right. So, I mean, what's the book about, Denise? It's about a woman rising to become the queen of a war-torn country. Yeah, man. Honestly, I mean, you do better getting it published if you write about our relationship. I mean, you can write about all the terrible and bullshit that we done been through, right? motherfucker bring my dog market and made it out that bitch appreciate it appreciate it i heard that that nigga that uh survived a horrific robbery out there found himself dead you know a couple of days before making that stand something you know about you know it didn't take me a little minute to find that but when i caught him slipping i went ahead and handled that mm -hmm. Fuck that that bitch ass nigga would have took the stand. That little year of vacation would have been 25 to life, so I appreciate you for that. I owe you one, G. Ain't no thing, gang. But shit, I know you about tired of them cook ups. You trying to go grab some food or something? No, 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 no. Not right now, not right now. Um, we got to discuss that other little topic that we had going on. See, that's the thing. I was so caught up in that other business. 
I had no idea where your girl went. You got 48 hours to find me something on her. That bitch can't forget what she did to me. Plus, she can't live without me. I won't let her. Yeah, you got it. I'll find her. But what if them diamonds gone already? You know, Tank gonna want us to handle that shit. That'll be the worst shit anybody in her position could do. Plus, let me worry about Tank. He waited a whole fucking year. He can wait a fucking few more days, you feel me? Jazz, I can't tell you how much I needed this lunch. Girl, I've been trying houses all day. Shit, me too. If it weren't for this lunch, I'd be running back and forth to all these meetings, making phone calls and all of that. Which, by the way, you ain't been talking about that big house deal you had. What's going on with that? Well, as expected. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that this entire deal is based upon me having dinner with him when we close on the house. Okay, and what's the problem with that? I mean, the problem is I don't want to. He's a nice guy and he's paid and all, but using a deal to bargain a date, come on now, that shit weak. Listen, I feel you. This artist that I got, Playboy Grip, Shy, he done started to flirt with me and school me all at the same time. I entertained it for a little bit because I need them records up out of him, okay? We got a deadline to meet. But sometimes, Mercedes, to reach your goal, well, you got to play the game. Jazz, I don't even know why I ask you for your advice. <laughs> but I guess you're right. Yeah. Going to dinner, closing this deal, getting that back, and following my dreams wouldn't be so bad. And that's all I'm saying. Like I told you the last time I linked up with you, you gotta get that bread, get that head, then leave. Yeah, it's that simple. Okay, now you doing too much. You didn't added unnecessary and unwanted head in a mix. <laughs> Baby, head is never unnecessary and it's always wanted. Remember that. Mm. <laughs> Nothing, just headed to see Chris and a few. Mm, how's that going? Listen, we working on it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I see you still taking risks and giving him a chance. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think, I think he's seeing someone else. No. Girl, what? <laughs> no, ladies. We are not about to ruin these good things that we have going on with these fears and insecurities. Plus, do you even have the receipts no, not really. But I mean, he do got these texts and stuff. I don't know. Maybe you're all right. Maybe I'm just overthinking. No, Nicole. It's normal to feel uneasy at first in the beginning of a relationship. But if shit keeps happening, you gotta speak up for yourself. Girl, listen. And if that nigga is cheating on you, I'ma smoke his ass. That's my view, girl. <laughs> Love y'all. See y'all later. Love you too, boo. You wearing them heels. Yes. Always trust a shooter, baby. Always. <laughs> What's up, hip hop heads? It's your girl, the Diamond Mind herself, Lady Gina, and we live in the studio today with Money Move Records' newest signee, Playboy Grip, his producer, Draco, and his manager, Jasmine. Welcome to the Underground Rich. Hey, y'all. Appreciate y'all for having me, man. It means a lot. So, Playboy, let's talk about the signing. You joined a successful label in MMR, but you had traction already being indie, so why sign now? <laughs> be real, I got tired of spending my own pay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, for real though, uh, you know, MMR, they got the sauce to make everything I want to make happen for me, man. I'm trying to win big, like Brian and Wade, when he went to Miami, like, they won, but Brian was hard before that. He been a beast, you know, same thing with me. Draco. So you're the exclusive producer for Playboy, but I also heard that you're an artist as well. Is there any chance we'll be hearing any of that talent? I mean, shit, I love to, but right now I'm doing what's needed, and that's cooking up these beats for my mans right here and learning from the ghosts of the industry. But you know, I still got my music on me. And I'm gonna be real, man. To be honest, like the way he fucking Gordon Ramsay with them beats right now, I don't even know if I want to see him in that booth. Dog, like Timberland, Kanye type shit right now. The beat guy. We on fire. 
Jasmine, you have been keeping your hands full with getting Playboy and Draco bigger platforms, and news is you got the last spot on Coachella this year. So how does that feel? Um, yeah, I mean, listen, that was a huge win. Like, we know we could have had any other artist. Um, that's facts. But to have somebody with raw talent like Playboy with an up and coming audience that's excited for him. That's the shit that we needed, you know? And because of that, I'm I'm committed to him. I mean, like, I'm committed to the work that we put in and what we do for our artists that's, you know, on the rise to high levels. Okay, so uh, enough of that. Let's talk some real street news shit. Word on the street is MMR had a signed deal with Southern indie artist Filthy Mouth and in the last hour backdoored a deal with Playboy Grip where he became available, true or no? I ain't never hear about that deal, but at the same time, I respect dog though, though. No offense, Playboy, but uh, Filthy Mouth has the bigger name and many are speculating that y'all chose Grip over him based on him not being the ideal look of an artist. Like, if not, why did you sign Playboy Grip? Listen, Filthy Mouth has talent. But when you're looking for dope, raw, inspiring music, <laughs> you're definitely looking for him. He's smart, funny, definitely driven, and you can definitely see in his eyes. He's for sure ready. You definitely want an artist you can believe in, and I can't lie, like, I believe in Trey. I believe he's who I've been waiting for this whole time. And that's why I chose him. <laughs> Genuinely, I am so sorry. Um, it's, it's the fans. The fans is who's been waiting for him. I mean, listen, I'm a fan myself, but I'm just, I'm here for the ride. Like, I'm, I'm here for the journey. I'm just excited to be managing his artistic craft. Girl, you kind of have me lost in the sauce a little bit, but that was a nice recovery. But thank y'all for tapping in with the Underground Rich, where the real music gems is below the surface. If you look hard enough, peace, peace. Make sure y'all stay tuned in for the next episode. Listen, I'm sorry about that. Look, I'm going to talk to you at the studio. Babe, where you going? It's late. Oh shit, I gotta go to the office. I forgot my hard drive and got the photos on there and I gotta send them up tonight. So I gotta get going. I got the photos weren't due till next week. Plus, I can check my SD card. I might have the backups. Hey, don't sweat it, babe. Plus, you cooking. I'm gonna shoot to my man's house too and holler at him for a minute. You distracted? No, no, let me get out of here, babe. Love you. Right. I'll see you later. Hello? Yes, Nicole. Um, no, thank you. I appreciate the call. Bye.
Hey, it's Nicole, bitch. I know it's late, but it's important. Tell your guy that I'm ready for the deal that we agreed on. The 10.5 million and nothing less. Okay. Bye. Hey, babe, who you talking to? Oh, it was no one, just Mercedes. She said that the house that she's showing for is probably gonna sell for $10.5 million. Crazy, right? Yeah, that's crazy. What you doing, babe? Oh, the keys. But let me get going, though. Don't wait up. Chris. What up, bro? Oh, nothing. I was just gonna tell you I love you. Oh, I love you too, man. Draco, I'm gonna be 100, man. Ever since we've been on, niggas been hating on us. They mad that we got our spot, but they ain't grind like us, nigga. They ain't work like us. Now we about to be on tour, nigga, in no time, man. I just want to thank you, bro, for being a real friend, dog. Hey, That's man, listen. Time. But nobody shot with me, listen to my beats, bro. You came through. <laughs> you believed in me, brought me on the team. Shit, now we about to win. We locked in, bro. Right. But let oh, me ask you a question, though. What's the deal? What's up with you and that manager chick, man? <laughs> All right, fellas. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Trey, good to see you. Um, I actually just got off the phone with the higher ups, and they're really loving that single. So, good stuff, definitely. Yeah. Draco, as always, the beat was hard. Really, really feeling that. Keep that up. We really need that, okay? I actually just got off the phone to get details regarding the video shoot that's coming next week, so please be ready for that, okay? Hey, thanks, Jazz. And look, I really appreciate you hooking me up with Pharrell next week, the legendary Pharrell. Man, it's a dream come true, so I really appreciate it. Draco, of course. Just keep that stuff coming for our man's Playboy grip here. Dope shit, dope shit. But let me ask you a question, though. What was that shit about Filthy Mouth earlier? People on the internet saying I stole his career and fans saying that? What's the story behind that? I mean, okay, yes. The executives were open to signing Filthy Mouth and you. But at the end of the day, I mean, listen, um, as you so eloquently put it, you are the raw talent. Man, but Filthy Raw too. And there's no doubt his wave was bigger than mine. So y'all ripped that up just to get somebody that was a low budget artist or a cheaper artist for y'all to get cheaper records. Y'all telling me y'all break deals? Y'all lie? Y'all don't care about real artists? Trey, that is not how it happened, okay? You and Filthy Mouth were both on our radar. <laughs> you won. It's that simple. Like, I don't know why you tripping, okay? At the end of the day, you were worth the investment. All right, cool. So look, I got a demo on my new single. I ain't quite solid on it yet. I think it's a hit, though. So can okay. I play it for you? Give me a little feedback? Absolutely. I appreciate you asking. Bet. So... One condition though. If I show you the track, it's a hit. You gotta let me take you on a date. <laughs> if it's not, I'll just stay in the studio working, you know, till I get your right no, 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 look, look, look. Just let the music speak for itself. None of that corporate shit, you feel me? Just fuck with me. You said you believe in me, right? Believe in me. Okay, look, I mean, I'm not making no promises, but I'll take a listen. Bet. Well, well, well. With the streets brought in. I would say welcome home, but I think 72 hours is too long to congratulate somebody who's been out. Come on, Tank. Man, you know I got eyes on me. You want me to get out, come straight here to see you? Have everybody on our back again? Okay. What about you, Jake? Is the reason you've been avoiding mine? Avoiding? I ain't been avoiding shit. I've been real busy having to save his ass and the fucking this fat pussy bitch over there on East Boulevard, you know? Not like you would know nothing about that. Cornball. <laughs> no, that's a good one. 
I mean, outside the fact I've been fucking your mom's terrible box all year. <laughs> Speaking of a year, where's my package? Tank. Tank. Just need more time. I've been working on some shit. Got some shit in motion that I promise I'm gonna handle. But I just need some more time. You know, when I was 14, I lost my virginity. Lost it to the neighborhood baddie. Bad bitch, too. She promised me uh, she'd give it to me, you know? When school was out that summer. I waited all fucking summer. I remember that anticipation building up. Just <clears throat> fucking eager. I remember that ride home. Caught the bus. I was nervous. Was good nervous. Got home. Got a chance to finally crack. Most disappointed pussy I ever had. Failure of a pussy action. But that long anticipation, that build up, that disappointment, that's what the fuck I feel right now. Year long disappointment from y'all. You got 48 hours to figure out where the fuck my shit is. And please, please, don't disappoint me like that pussy. Understood? Now get the fuck out of here. Just go. Now Marcus. You a person short. Where your girl Chanel at? Caught up. That's bitches, right? We'll figure it chapters now. Now, my husband and the kids are out of town, so I was able to read a couple of chapters. Okay, awesome. How did you like it? I hated it. When you came to me as a client, you came to me about an amazing idea that you had. It's simply about a wife who sleeps with men on her street. I already know what you're going to say. Find your audience, serve, serve your audience. audience. Look, you've written best-selling books already, but your last two have been duds. <laughs> April, I've been working on this book for a long time. I wrote it this way because I'm trying to catch the audience of new readers. What else do you want me to do? Denise, you know I love you, girl, but you know, you do have a very strong, passionate, fiery, you know, inspirational type of attitude when you write. But at the end of the day, you know, the publication might end up letting you go in a few weeks if you don't submit something within a few weeks. So. They can't do that. Look, I'm holding the hounds back on not letting them see what you sent me. It's just too many resources, so many investments that's on the table, you know, and they don't want material that they feel that's not good enough to just be sitting there and resources being wasted. I need something good enough. Thank you. I won't let you down. Money will come and get it for my 
the surprise you was talking about you had for me early. Yeah. I mean, I know I've been giving you a hard and difficult time lately, but it's been a while since my last relationship, so this is me taking the risk. Baby, you definitely showing out tonight, but I think we need to talk. Unless it's about how fine I look or what you're about to be doing to me in the next few seconds, it can wait. Damn, baby, damn, baby, hold on, hold on. Let me answer this. Whatever or whoever it is, it can wait. You are mine for the rest of the night. Hello? What? I'm busy right now. Alright, are you serious? I hear you, I hear you. I'm gonna be on my way. Listen, baby, I, I gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. I gotta go. Are you fucking serious? It's 10 p.m. Ain't nobody in need of no photos this late. Damn, baby, look, I'm sorry. I got something I gotta go handle. But we can talk about it later. What's more important than this? Because if your eyes are failing me, please let me know. Listen. This is not just some shit you just Listen. dip out on and come back to finish. I promise. Later, my ass. You've been acting weird as hell for the past two weeks, and honestly, I've been playing it cool, but you need to tell me what the fuck is going on. Nicole, I told you we could talk about this shit later, but I gotta go. <laughs> Don't be slamming shit. Who is she? Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Come on, it's always another one, so go ahead and spill it. If you only knew how much I cared about you, you wouldn't be tripping. But I gotta get up out of here. I'll be back later. We can talk, I promise. Chris, until you can be honest with me about you and your secrets, don't come back. My secrets? My secrets, Nicole? All right, all right. Can you explain to me what the fuck so important got you bothering me this late at night, folks? Bothering you? Yeah, bothering. Bothering you about your child? Man. Bother you about this pregnancy that I'm dealing with? I thought the life of your child meant something. I told you what we had was over. It ain't no us, it ain't no you and me, it ain't no family. You wanna have that child, that's fine. I'ma help you once you prove it's mine. But you can't be calling me, you can't be doing none of this. None of this contact, none of, none of this. It ain't no us, you feel me? Don't flatter yourself, nigga. I don't want you nor need you. But what I do need is for you to take care of your child when it's time and be a man. Trust. You can get the DNA test and the ancestral dot fucking com won't change shit. What the fuck is you on, Monica? We had one night. No romance, no relationship, no nothing. It was just two drunk people fucking. Do she know? I should have known. Fuck you, man. I'm not no hit it and quit it type bitch. I deserve better. I'm not no mysterious one night fuck. Okay? You tripping. No, you tripping. <laughs> you want a new life, Chris? I do. Tell her the truth. Or we will. You lost your motherfucking mind? Not yet. But I can prove that you have balls and that you use them. Bitch, you threatening me? You know what? Don't call me no more. Don't call me no more. I 
fucking knew it. Mercedes. She would not believe what the fuck I just seen. Hey, love, is this a social call or do I need to call a sitter for the night? Purely social. The last thing I need to do is complicate things. Sure, if I can be truthful, we both know this role you're trying to play isn't gonna last long. Especially not after what Chris knows about you. I've admitted to my mistakes. With time passed, we will be good. Now, on the other hand, I need a favor. Guess that's all I'm good for. What do you need? I need you to look into some people for me. Get as much information as you can. Juicy or deep, the dirtier, the better. Isn't these your friends? What's going on? Listen, I need new material for my new book. And my publishers won't do nothing with my latest work. So I need to do more trashier stuff. This is what she asked him for. So now you're using your friends' lives? I don't know about this one, love. Listen, Mercedes sells houses to celebrities all the time. I'm sure there's some shit in her. And Jasmine, one of her artists, then did some crazy shit. I'm sure you can pull something from that. I don't want them. I just want something around them. If you say so, baby but under one condition. You agree to me and you one last time. Then you let me know if you're really done, truly done. I got You want this book to go through or do you want to keep waiting for his forgiveness for you loving me? All right, give me the information I need and we can go from there. Diamond, I really need this. I need you. I love you, Denise. I know. I just wish you didn't. I am so sorry to be having you up late like this, Mercedes. It's fine. It's fine. I can't believe you was right about Chris, though. And it's bold of you to follow him. I just wasn't about to keep letting him give me them half-ass excuses. I'm glad I did. Now I know the truth. Mm. And the truth will get your ass and them back set on the fucking curb. So when do you plan on confronting him, though? Soon. I have a few meetings to handle first. But when I get home, I'm letting him know that it's over and that I'm moving on and that he needs to move the fuck on, too. Mm. What are you talking about, Spicy? If I didn't know who you were, I'd be scared. So how was the second date? Girl, Jordan is great, but I mean, he's intelligent. We vibe and everything. It's just. So I mentioned Deshaun and then I got upset. And then he said I needed to take some time to heal because I obviously wasn't over it. And then he took off before I even had the chance to apologize to him. So I don't know. Damn. So, what are you going to do? I mean, just because I'm leaving cheating ass Chris <laughs> don't mean you can't fix your problems. But what if I'm not ready? Like, what if I'm still hurt over Deshaun? How can I even move forward with Jordan? Deshaun was abusive. He was manipulative and he was possessive and... It almost broke me. I like fought to keep myself. I don't know. My ex was that way. Shit, worse actually. And I had to do whatever it took to leave him. It wasn't easy. But look at us clean. And Jordan might be right. Maybe the rest of healing. That's needed. But maybe he just wants for you what you want for you. 
Let me go ahead and get up out of here, girl. I got meetings in the morning, and I know you need your sleep. Okay, what I'm saying. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Vicky? Alexander? Nice to meet you. Thank y'all for meeting here with me today. I appreciate y'all traveling to see me. Yeah, we were surprised when you called and said you weren't in New York no more, but your offer was real worth the flight. Oh uh, yeah, and of course, Vicky wanted to know where, uh, where your husband was at because he's normally the one that handles the transactions. He's been too busy planning our next job. And you know, men, they could be so tunnel vision. So I told him I'd make sure we got our pay. So let's get to it. You have the money? Well, once we figure out these diamonds origins and uh, Vicky is satisfied, then we will proceed to put the money in your account, just like we always did. No, 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 Alex. That's not what we discussed. Cash, I said I needed cash. Yeah, so uh, listen, Shawty, I don't know, I don't understand this, but uh, all our other previous transactions have been with the money being wired to your account. Why is it a problem now? Fuck! Damn it! Alex, Vicky, see, I really need this money. Them, them diamonds, they're worth every penny. I'd hate to see you give this offer up over some misunderstanding. I need cash. Why you running from Marcus anyway? What? Who said I was running? You know what? No deal. Baby, we out. Vicky, wait. I am on the run. That's why I'm not in New York. Marcus got locked up, and he's gonna want these diamonds. And he's probably gonna try to kill me. You put us at risk doing this deal. He has eyes everywhere, especially your old friend, Jake. You stole from your husband, and you expect us to cash you out. Plus, Jake came by the shop a few times already. <laughs> was asking if we had any diamond sales on the floor. I'm just thinking that y'all was on the rebound, you know what I'm saying, looking the fence. But nah, it wasn't made aware. Y'all, please, y'all gotta help me. If Jake is already looking for me, now that Marcus is out of jail, he'll find me in no time. But this money, it'll get me off the grid. I'm just trying to start over. Yeah, no, nah, sorry. We ain't gonna be able to do this deal. If he knew we helped you behind his back, that'd be crazy. So yeah, we ain't gonna be able to do it. You know, our connects trust us because we fair and we neutral. We ain't finna blow that for nobody. I wish we could help you, but we can't. So uh, good luck, Miss Chanel. You can't outrun fate, love. So let it find you and kick its ass. But stop running. And don't ever, ever call us again. usually keep my compliments and my flattery to like the fifth date or so, but I'm not gonna lie, tonight's definitely been amazing. <laughs> now it's all that good, huh? Don't <laughs> get cocky, okay? It was the song. The song that you did was really special to me, and I kind of like that. Well, you inspired it, so I got you to thank for that. That was a good one. So, 
Is this the part where you tell me that all your songs are inspired by the beautiful things that move you? <laughs> yeah, that and the song was the easiest song I ever wrote because it was already written when I met you. Hmm. Talking like that, you definitely are an artist. But before I do the whole lean in and kiss you thing like in the movies, <laughs> can we please go get something to eat? Because I am starving. <laughs> Damn, I was so close. <laughs> no, nah, let's go get something to eat, though. All right. You know, I can't keep a pimp hungry. Who told you that? Jazz the Demon Slayer. <laughs> yeah, I heard. <laughs> Nigga, go get on a fucking vlog or something. YouTube or some shit. Boy, who the fuck is you? You were on 50 Miles Chance at Fame. And you ain't even been on the cover of Double XL. But I better get his chance now. Oh, shit! Fuck! My fucking career, bro! Trey, Trey, give me the gun. What? You think I know the gun wasn't registered? I got a CPL. Give me the fucking gun. You fucking crazy? The cops gonna be here any minute. You think they're gonna believe a woman just to- Maybe, and maybe not. Well, guess what they are gonna believe? That I was defending my man, cause that shit is real. Plus, I got connections that'll make all this shit disappear. Jazz, I appreciate you, man. You don't gotta- Thank do me this. later, okay? You already owe me another day. You know I've already told you everything that happened that night. In detail. So, why am I still here to take the parts? Well, Miss Jasmine, I've looked at the report. And I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Glock 26, subcompact. Kind of heavy for a music manager and a lady. I thought this was about us almost being killed and me using what we like to call self-defense. Once again, it was a business meeting over drinks, okay? Because he's new to the company, so celebrating isn't breaking any laws, now is it? What, detective? I guess that's that. You take care. Take care as well. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see this case was so predictable. Lord knows I hate unfinished business. Here's your profiles, babe. Gotta admit, there's some good stuff in there. Thank you so much, Tommy. You have no idea how much this means to me. Mercedes Files was nice. A few houses sold to failed actors, drunk suicidal stars, a serial killer's house, Jasmine's label played foul ball with a rapper contract, and then there's Nicole. What if face? What you find? Better if you read it yourself. So, I know we had our last time, but are we really done? Diamond. Yeah. This summer fall thing we had it was real. I can't lie. I was very happy, but it's in the past. So. Cole does nothing but talk shit and hang whatever we did over your head. And yet you choose him over me? Stupid. Me? Stupid? Don't think you called me for is a booty call since then. If you leave your lying to yourself, you know I'm the only one who loves you. You won't work out in the end. You know what I love about girls? They understand the assignment every fucking time. No questions. No hesitation. Just like your mama, Jake. <laughs> Damn.
that was funny. But you know the thing about that is she used to tell me like everything she learned, she learned from your my dudes. So she was the best, the GOAT. No one ever could do it as good as her. I'm glad y'all niggas got fucking jokes and shit. Like nigga, I know you gave us a wink tank. I know. But I'm like this fucking close to getting your diamonds. I just need more time, more time. Just a few more days. You know, Marcus, I'd be inclined to, especially instead of cutting your fucking head off. But it's kind of hard, you see, when people have lied to me about their fucking situation. Listen, listen, listen. I just, they just got me explain, bro. Explain what? You let your bi I asked you where Chanel was. You lied. And you got your woman running around this entire fucking city with my shit? Unacceptable. Tank, did you ask me for permission to kill my... Hey, hey, Tank. It's my fault. I was the one looking for her. When I find her, she had slip away from me. And when I did find her, I'm gonna keep her real with you. I could have ended her shit. But you know, she a part of this team, man. To be real without her, because, you know, she's so good with the security system to cracking these safes, we can't get these jobs done and bring this pipe in that you want. You got a point. All right. Find her. Get her in the fold. And then get my damn diamonds. That's $10 million of my money that I don't have right now. And I might not have $10 million right here from them diamonds, but I can find $10 million to put on y'all heads. Find her. Publisher didn't like the last one, so I'm sending this one. It's a whole chapter in there, Denise, about a woman selling a, a, a house to a serial killer. That that's Mercedes. That that really happened. I didn't even use her name. All of that is public record. Yeah, not details like the police interview or or the description of the killer, how he was hiding bodies in there, and all that was redacted and uh and what, Cole? Get your point across. You seen her again, did you? Diamond? Yeah, she getting all your information from. You little investigative fuck, buddy. Cole, you don't even know what you're talking about. Look me in my eyes and tell me you didn't call her and ask her to dig up some dirt on your friends. Yeah, I figured. I'm a bestseller. I got to keep up with the wins. If I don't, my publisher will drop me and then what? If I don't get these people what they want, I'm, I'm out of here. Why don't you ask Jazz about how you exposed what was going on with that little filthy ass record deal she got going on? Why do you even care? It's not like I'm talking about none of the bullshit you be on in the first place. You wanna know why I ain't marrying you? Because you're selfish. When you cheated on me with Diamond, you were selfish. When you picked your career over us, you were selfish. And you put that book out, we threw for good. Hey, it's Denise. About the book, I'm sending it over now. Okay. Rico, you telling me you can't flip these fucking diamonds after everything I did for you? Fuck you in, Marcus. I don't think Marcus would like to hear that shit. 
what he would like to hear is you still got them fucking diamonds. Now why is you running? Jake, I swear I thought he was dead when they caught him and he got locked up. I had to use my alias to check in on him. I know he's out. You working for him? With him. Fuck Chanel. He had me keep looking for your ass the whole time he was locked up. And I kept finding you too. And I ain't say nothing. But now that he's out, the only thing he wants is you and them diamonds. That's them right there. No, Jake, you know like I know. Marcus had us doing more and more dangerous jobs. That diamond heist could have cost us all of our fucking lives. Now, if you want to split the diamonds, then we can... Nah, Chanel. Let's not be stupid. I'm not here to kill you. Marcus said he was going to do that shit already. But you know I'm going to have to tell him I found you. So I'm just here to warn you. You got 48 hours to hit him up and let him know you're going to meet with him. If not, he's going to be the next person you see and the last person you see. Jake Wade. Thank you. Not who you with? Her brother. Her brother? She ain't never mentioned she had a brother. Of course she did. Shame. Trust me, to her, I'm probably dead. But in reality, I'm live and well. And I'm here to see her. Yeah, I hate. It. Well, she ain't here. But what you say your name again, bro? Marcus. And you must be her simp, right? What you say, nigga? Ah, her man, her man. Yeah. You dating my sister, right? Yeah, for a few months, actually. What's up? Hmm, well, looks like my sister not here right now, so I guess I'll come catch up with her another time. You sure? Shit, I hate for her to miss our scene. Plus, we got time, we can get to know each other. Smoke a little something. No, I gotta slide. But as far as getting to know each other, you won't never know sh Nicole more than I do. Shit, you might like her. You may even love her. But one thing you need to know, that she'll always belong to me. Good chat, bro. I was supposed to be taking pictures for her for her uh, newest book. No, nah, it was your brother. My brother? Yeah, Marcus. He came by to see you early. But well, shit, I can tell you why you don't fuck with him no more. Yeah, he's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Did he say what he wanted? Nah, he just made his presence known, though. Whatever that was about. Well, all right. I'm about to get in the shower today. Mm -hmm. Love you. Yeah, love you too.
You heard anything about that dude I shot? No. And you don't know nothing either, remember? Plus, the label already sent the lawyers over to smooth things over with the police chief, the prosecutor, and the dude's family. So, as long as we don't incriminate ourselves, we good. I just ain't been sleeping right, Josh. It's like, I keep trying to understand. Why would somebody try to kill me over another nigga career, man? And when he pulled that gun on me, I just... I blacked out. Trey, you were protecting me. That fan was a fucking internet troll looking to do something stupid. And, I mean, that shit cost him his life. But as long as it's settled that I'm the one that shot him... We in the clear. And I love you, Trey. Hey, Earth to Trey. I said I love you. I love you too. It's safe to say you went from pimping to simping, huh? Boy, no. Now when I first met you, I had every intention on walking you down. But, I ain't gonna lie. You got a hold on me. <laughs> For now. <laughs> I'm about to make us on the drink. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up? That's the detective that interrogated me the other day. Fuck, Jazz, you told me you was I good. I knew he didn't believe me. <sighs> Who is it? So what you want to do? Go in the fucking bathroom. If he see your ass here, he gonna know we're together. Just stay in there until his ass leave. Miss Jazz, it's good to see you again. Now please come in. No. Do you have a warrant? Please. Of course not. Cause you don't have no reason please. to be here. I'm not here to go back and forth. I just want to talk to you and apologize. Can I offer you something to drink? Yeah. Coffee. Three creams and shit. Okay. So, what about this apology? Let me hear it. I was first giving your case. I did too much, honestly. I was too focused on you and Playboy as an item. Instead of the gun you used to kill Mr. Matthew Stone. That gun was unlicensed. My lawyer already proved that the gun store failed to process the paperwork. Right. And when I did too much again, I did go to the gun shop and pull some records. And I found out that you purchased the 9mm in 2018. Right. And a Glock this year. But I still have yet to hear your apology. Right. Until we found Playboy prints on the gun. And the lawyers have already explained that he took the gun from me before I shot the fan. He was worried about my well-being and my mental health in the moment. Of course, which is why I had all the bullets in the clip scanned for prints. And would you believe that he loaded your gun for you too? Or did your lawyer have a statement for that? <sighs> Detective Parks. <laughs> Oh, no need to apologize. I should apologize. I underestimated you. With all your heavyweight lawyers behind you, I almost laid down and closed the case. But again, I do too much sometimes. Jasmine Fields, you under the arrest. Trey, what the fuck did you do? I'm protecting you. I wasn't gonna let him arrest you. You have my back. Oh out my God, Trey, he's a fucking cop. Like, what are we about to do now? I, I can just call Drake though. He'll help me move the body, I'm sure. Put the fucking phone down. Our phones could be tapped right now. Right. Just help me get his ass up. Grab his leg, I'm about to grab his arms. I love you, Jazz. Hey, 
Hey, bam, huh? You would not believe that I shot an entire shoot. Was this just a nifty 50 camera lens? But that's all because I left my bag at the house. Chris, I can explain. But what I need you to understand is that what I'm about to tell you is very serious. What's more serious than being with somebody you thought you knew? But instead you find out you don't know shit about them. Craig. Chris, listen. Is that your real name? Huh? Because these different identities in this book say different. You a whole lot of different motherfuckers out here, huh? Brittany, Rosa, Samantha. Who is you? Chanel. <laughs> it's Chanel. Chris, I used to be a thief. I used to rob high-priced items with a group that included my ex. You won't fucking believe it. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Baby, listen. Some shit really hit the fan with my last job, and my team took the L, but I got away with the diamonds. And that's when I came here and started a new life and met you. I want this. I want us. You lied to me. When that nigga showed up to the house, I knew something was off. Look, I love you, Nick. I love you, but you a thief. I don't know where that leave us. Who is she, nigga? What? Yeah, that bitch that you've been having little alley meetings with. I saw that shit. Since we were revealing secrets and shit, spill it. Her name Monica. We had a one night stand before I met you. Now she having my baby. I wanted to tell you, but I wanted to find out if it was true. I was afraid of losing. But I don't think that shit matter no more. Chris. You know what, Nicole? Or whatever your name is. I normally just leave, but I love you. I don't know how or if. We can figure this out, but I'm willing to make it work. I just need some time to wrap my head around it. Marcus, you want me? You got me. You want these diamonds? You can have them. But you got a promise to leave me, Chris, and this city alone. You want to be the man again? Meet me somewhere private. Send me the location for the deal. And Marcus? If you try anything, I'll kill you. Appreciate you coming to help him, bro. Giles was pissed, man. She wanted to get back and clean her place. It's cool, man, but you want to explain how the hell you shot a cop? And why the fuck you got all this jewelry on? Nigga, I got a show tonight, nigga. And that don't even fucking matter. I did what had to be done. Or else our career be over and Jazz would be in jail. Man, you really love her, huh? Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, like, she's special to me, bro. I couldn't let her go down for that fucking murder. Come on, fool. Man, this shit wild, man. Just a few months ago, we was sharing hot and ready, doing open mics. Now we dumping bodies. We about to be on tour, man. Listen, bro, don't take this the wrong way. But y'all sure y'all know what y'all doing? Nigga, yeah, we do. 
And I don't expect my fucking best friend to be bitching up right now, nigga, just because some shit hot. Come on, fool. Listen, bro, relax. Ain't like I left my job as a hitman before this. Fuck, man, what we about to do? Look, I got a little something from Uncle on the block, nigga. I'm gonna put it right here. Cops just gonna think it's another fucking junkie cop, OD, trying to get a fix. All right, man, so that's it? Fuck yeah, nigga, let's go. You ain't no easy bitch to find. You would think when a nigga get the fuck out of prison, his girl would be there and not 500 fucking miles away. Marcus, I came to make a deal. I didn't come to hear your little sob story. So you want these diamonds or not? Yeah, yeah, I know. Diamonds exchange for your new little life. You know, Chanel, you mine and you always gonna be fucking mine. Fuck you. Go to hell, Marcus. You and I are done. You know, I thought you died the night in that robbery for these damn diamonds. But I was perfectly fine knowing you was gonna ride in the cell, too. Damn it, Chanel, I almost died when you left me and fucking abandoned me. I swear to God, dog. I own you. I'm your fucking husband. I'm your life, bitch. Nigga, I don't want you. I told you we didn't need to work for a tank. His job was getting too dangerous. But you just had to be greedy. I'm the one in charge. You're gonna be done. We're even, huh? I never want to see your face again. You got what you needed. Now leave the city and never come back again, Marcus. No, it should be a crime to be this fucking pretty dog. So what now, Marcus? Shit, we gonna get them diamonds over the tank, get our fucking money, and I'ma kill her and her little new nigga. Marcus, that shit unnecessary. We got what we needed. Let's go drop this shit off, get the bag, and move the fuck on. It's a million hoes you could be with after this. She want a life after me. I'm gonna show that fucking bitch the afterlife. Listen, it's only one person I need to make a fucking example out of, and it's her. I don't give a fuck. And let me tell you something, Jake. If you keep fucking questioning me, I'm gonna need a new bitch and a new partner. Now let's fucking go. I can't say it enough. I really appreciate you taking me out. I mean, it's been stressful lately, but that comedy club was a well-needed break. Listen, I barely paid attention. I was too much into the lamb chops, but <laughs> I'm glad you did come out though. Hey, how's your book coming? The Queen's Blade, right? The publisher hated it. Um, she said pretty much it's not catching the eye of what people are used to me writing. It needs to be more trashy. Sorry to hear that. I mean, don't you have a deadline, right? I got a backup book. Something a little bit more real. It's about a group of friends. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Shit. I don't want to bore you, girl. No, girl, please. Keep going. Okay, so. It's actually about a group of friends. And one of them is completely lying about who she is. Oh, Chanel. Nice to meet you. Denise. Don't worry about it. I'm not turning you in. But I don't trust you either. I know exactly who you are. Denise, if you're seriously thinking about putting my life in your book, don't. You think you know everything, but you don't. Let's see. Married. Liar. Criminal. Did I miss anything? Do you have any idea of what you put in that book out there means, or could mean. The only reason I lied was to protect all of you, I swear. Whoever you are, I really don't care. I do know I have a book to release, so after this, we are completely done. That being said, we get the fuck out of my car, Chanel. 
Are you going to tell the others? As long as you leave here and don't return, I don't care. Fine. But Denise, please don't write this book. Whatever you know, that's the old me. I won't put you in this book, but after this, I mean, I never and I absolutely mean I never want to fucking see your face again. I'm sorry, Denise. You've always been a good friend. You still are. Hey, I know it's late, but we need to talk about the book. Anybody see y'all come in? Nah, we good. How you go though? Shit, fine, I guess. I mean, I ain't heard nothing on the news yet about the cop's body or his car. Shit, we just made it look like a robbery. I got some dope from my homie on the block. They gonna probably think he was trying to buy some drugs and got shot. That's what we hope they believe. Did y'all at least get the phones I sent y'all? Hell yeah, I needed an upgrade anyway. But shit, I'm ready to start this fucking tour, man. I got a project dropping next fucking week. They need to see Playboy do this shit live. Hey, speaking of that, I got this fire ass single I just recorded. I'm trying to figure out if like I can get inserted on the tour, shock the crowd with a little Draco track. I mean, shit, Draco, I don't see no issue hold with on, that. Hold on, bro. How the fuck you gonna do music on my tour without clearing it with me first? This is the Playboy matching tour, nigga, not Playboy and friends. I mean, it's one song. Plus, they coming to see both of us. At this point, we a package deal. Like, ain't nobody just coming to see you, Otis? Okay, so tell me, when you gonna do it? On 21 set, you gonna cut Nikki shit off? You gonna walk up there on little baby shit, cut him off? Me? Nigga, you gonna do it on my set? Come on, nigga, I understand you trying to get your shine, but why you can't wait till after my, after our first tour? Listen, I don't see no issue with you getting Andre. There's enough space and opportunity for everybody. Plus, I'm the one that's running this show. Along with the label team, but I'm running this, okay? And I'm sure that Playboy is gonna appreciate the boost that it gives the tour with your song. Alright. I appreciate it, but I'm about to head out because you know I just got the text from Coil Ray. I'm about to do a studio session and you don't you don't need to work Coil Ray, so I'll see y'all later. Hey, if y'all need me, don't need me, because I'm a Coil Ray. Trey, if this shit go right with the cop, we cannot make any more messes. The lawyer saved us the first time. Circumstances saved us twice. We cannot have a third fuck up, okay? Especially right now, getting ready for this tour. Yes, I promise. I don't even know what happened anyway. It was like, I blacked out. I saw the cop, it was just like. But shit, like you said, you're right. We got a tour coming up. And we need to focus on that. Shit, speaking of, you think you ready for all them thoughts to be on my dick trying to get at your man? Boy, ain't nobody worried about them girls. Oh, yeah. But what's more important is that you realize how good you got it already. I got it then. Let me give you an answer. Hey, Michael. I was calling to see if I can see the kids this weekend. I know I missed my weekend. Um, work just been super busy, but it would be nice to see. Um, just let me know. Sorry I'm late. You need more information? It's confirmed to be detective parts. Bullet wound through the back of the head and found a small bag of cocaine. On Parks? Yeah. Never took him as a guy to be on that junk, but definitely had a session behavior when it came to cases, so kind of explains his ways. Let's get two things straight. For one, never talk negativity of the dead. 
And for two, his obsession with his cases is why he is the way he is. You should wish the same. Anything else I need to know? Seems like the body was moved because there's no bullet damage in or around the car. And we found this under the seat. A little flashy for even detective parks. <sighs> Nothing makes my job easier than a crime committed by an idiot. Can you get Prince on this for me? You know, Miss Park's number. I want to let her know the bad news and my obsession with finding this killer. With respect, ma'am, do you think Detective Park's dabbling in a little foul play that got him killed? What you and I believe don't matter. What matters is that we find the killer and who have the balls to kill him a week before his birthday and left us a gift. I'll see you later. Babe, I'm home. Cole, where you going? I warned you, Denise. You, you, you chose yourself over everyone. I just, I can't be with somebody like that, man. Like, I, I read the email and you submitted the book. So, okay, I talked about what Mercedes and her 80 year old boss trying to fuck her, Jazz being a demon slayer, and let's not forget about Nicole. Yeah, you see, you see, it don't even phase you. Like, you don't even care who you hurt. As long as you get what you need, right? Typical Denise. Fuck you, Cole. Who makes the money around here? Whose name do people know? Whose cars are you driving? I've been fucking carrying you, and you hate it. Well, you can have it back. I don't need it or you anymore. Leave. Niggas like you is easily replaceable. You know, you gave the book a good name. House of T. I mean, only house you forgot about was yours with all the bullshit in it. You know what, though? Fuck you in there, boo. Have a nice life alone, Denise. I asked you to come over, Chris, because I wanted to talk about all of this stuff that's going on. Nicole, Chanel, I don't even know what to talk about at this point. You lied to me from the first day I met you and asked you your name. Okay, you're right. I get it. But I'm done with that life. I exchanged the diamonds with Marcus, and in exchange of that, he's going to be out of my life, out of our life. Chanel, what you, what you expect? You think we're going to just run from the law or something? Huh? The law isn't after me. Listen, we did jobs, but we never got caught until the last job. Not even we. The owner of the jewel started shooting at us, and Marcus got hit. At that point, I thought he was dead, so all I could do was run away. That got him sent to prison. So only him and Jake are in the system, not me. So even if that's true, you expect me to be with you after all this deceit? Listen, I don't expect a chance, Chris. But if I did have one, I would use it to show you that I want to be with you. And how much I love you, I really want this relationship to work. I think we need to renegotiate the terms of our agreement. I get the diamonds, and you and your nigga, y'all both get to die. I'm about to kill this nigga. Marcus, you what? Fuck you, Marcus!
bitch ass nigga. Fucking my wife alone could have got your ass killed. But I'm really gonna enjoy ruining this girl world. See now, this is really for your best interest. I swear, this ain't true. You ain't like this. You're a murderer, a thief, a killer. And most importantly, my fucking wife. Ass nigga. I don't even know why she would fuck with a little weak ass nigga like you anyway. Mark ass bitch ass. Go on and get your blood. Marcus. Chaps right after the show in Miami. And only tequila and lime, nigga. None of that other shit. You hear me? Alright, fool. What's good, gang? Hey, Playboy, you heard from Jazz? I'm trying to get her to sign up on something from you all day. Nah, I haven't. But it's funny you mention that, gang. Because earlier, I was on a FaceTime with the execs. And they was picking my brain about your fucking solo album. Playboy, Trey, bro, you gotta chill, bro. Chill? Y'all hear this nigga, man? I gotta chill when this weak ass, wave riding ass bitch is making a play behind my back. Fuck you, bro. You know I always wanted to rap. And honestly, the only reason you mad is because you know if I drop them beats, pick up a mic, you easily second place. Get the fuck out of here, Draco. I made you. I made you matter. I made you a star. Nobody give a fuck about them copied ass YouTube beats, nigga. And don't nobody give a fuck about your music. I'm the fucking show. Who name on the marquee? Here, me. And who fucking name sold out this arena? Yours and Nikki's and 21. Shit, little baby. Shit, money move records. I'm gonna make it easy for you, bro. Here's something I don't need Jazz to sign off on. You fire. Go ahead and leave. Yeah. They don't need yay no more. A word? Bitch ass nigga. Playboy, aka Trey, you are under arrest for the murder of Detective Parks and a fan. Put your hands behind your back. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Hey man. Call Jazz. Get the label heads. Call the lawyers, man. This ain't shit. Don't even stop the show. Hey, Drake, Draco, call Jazz, bro. Call Jazz. Hey, I'm fired, bitch ass nigga. Damn, that was cold. And ironically, unfortunate. But deserved. What'd Jazz say? The label fired her. And she been arrested.
you know, if you following someone, you can at least be good at it. You must be the woman that got this torn between his dick and responsibility. My name is Nicole. Okay. But I know who you are, Monica. There's a little side piece that he's been texting late night and having these little meet up with. So you followed him. That explains a lot. At least he told the truth. About time. It doesn't. But I'm not here to argue or to figure out if he cheated or not. I'm just here to say that I'm leaving town for good tonight and that things are over with us. Because of Chris? No. Because of me. But not by choice. Just know I won't be staying here no longer. So why are you telling me this? Look, Monica, we may not know each other. And I'll admit, at first I had my own personal thoughts and ideas about you. But I realized that Chris is such a good man, he needs to be in his child's life and not caught up with me and my troubles. I was cutting into him over you and now you're giving him to me. Wow, does he even know you're leaving? No, he doesn't. I don't even know if I'll be able to tell him, but please, just take care of him. Hey, he never cheated. That one night you guys fell out, I thought he was hopping back and forth between us just to get a nut. But the whole night he just talked about how he didn't want to lose you and how he wanted to be there for our child. I just thought you should know. What you mean you gone? I'm sorry, Chris. But my old life follows me wherever I go, and I can only keep running and moving until I'm truly safe. No, no, listen, listen. Don't even finish that sentence. Nicole, Chanel, whoever you want to be, baby, look, I love you. I'm willing to make this work. Mark is dead. We good. We ain't got to worry about nothing else. I love you, Chris, but it's over. Hello? Chanel, baby, hello? You know he's right. Doesn't matter. We're calling no shake. We don't get to live normal lives like other people. So you got the diamonds? That's the problem. See all that shit with Tank? Got Marcus so fucking paranoid that he hid them bitches somewhere. Tank's not gonna care, Jake. That's millions of dollars lost. Another reason why I got one of these. You should come, Jake. We can go back to doing small jobs, making decent money. That sounds good and all, but you know, we gotta find these diamonds. Tank not gonna let that shit slide. And like you said, in order to keep you I mean, to keep us safe, I'm about to have to go do some big jobs and make this money with you. Thanks, Jake. You take care of yourself, you hear me? And just know I'm always a call away, asshole. Yeah, you too, Chanel. I mean, Miss Nicole. Oh, shit. 
white boy then came solo. Now this must mean you are either A, a fucking cop, here to arrest me, not gonna happen. Or B, you came to ride on Marcus, try to tell me how you the better pick or something. You want that bullshit? Tank Marcus is dead. One more time. Marcus is what? Wow. Understand this, white boy. I'm not your next come up. I shit your bitch ass now. Acting all nervous shit. I ain't here to kill you. I don't even got the diamonds. Chanel done took them bitches after she killed Marcus. Dumbass. Should've killed him when we had the chance. We still can. I'm listening. So what you do is you take that 10 mil, you put it on her head, and that's gonna force her hand. Either way, you gonna get 10 million cash or you gonna get them diamonds. But either way, you winning. All right. Fine, I'll do it. I'll make the call. Carl, it's tight. Yeah. That 10 million hit, you put it on Chanel. All right, good luck. Listen, make sure whoever finds her, get the diamonds off of her. I want my shit. All right. No. ASAP, get back to me. All right, my guy. Appreciate it. Well, done. Appreciate the info. What's your next move? Well, I'm gonna go slide on that fat pussy bitch one more time. And after that, I should have 10 million waiting on me. Well, Cher, she is an expert at making fake IDs. She had access to millions of dollars in stolen money, and now she has disappeared. And tonight, the FBI telling us that they have no idea where she is. I think there was some surprise, but um, other than that, all we can do is attempt to find her. Certainly having a lot of money at your disposal can make it more difficult for us to locate you. The FBI believes she's gone, maybe out of the country.